would almost think that summer has done an about turn. <laughs> David Manson blows time off, and Craig Field gets us away. And Scott Goulet, first of the Sydney City players to get a touch. Big Hermanson. Pulled down around the legs by Scott Fulton, who's in the side with nine on his back. Uh, Jim Sedaris out injured, as is David Gillespie. Gallic switches the point of the attack, and Rickardson gets it 42 metres out from his own line. Gallic again for the kick. Walker. Torpedo punt deep to the hillside of Brookvale. John Hopperwadi, and you'll find that uh, Sydney City are inside the team. Such a beautiful kicker of the football, Andrew Walker, but unfortunately the good work undone. The chase is going inside the 10. And so he's just inside the 40. He wanted the bounce towards the sideline. It went up, and that helped the manly winger. Craig Field has become very quickly a vital part of the manly side. Line kicking, goal kicking. No surprise to see the changes for Sydney City. This looks like the kind of team that Phil Gould would take into a semi-final series. Interesting play there. First hit up on the set of six from the tap free was taken by... I thought for a moment it was Craig Innes, but in fact it was um, Nick Kosef. Number three on the jumper. I still fancy it was Innes. 42 metres out, a little bit further now for Manly with their first use of the football. And Tuvi just got lost there for a moment. Field is with it. Held down in the tackle by Lowry and Garlic, who's out quickly from Marker to try and put some pressure on Tuvi whose kick goes back and bounces awkwardly for Juni. Kosef leads the charge, the kicker is there. Tuvi. Now this is Miles. Robert Miles in the number five shirt. Shearer, wearing seven, playing centres. A position that he played in for Manly, Queensland, Australia. And here's the equaliser of the penalties. David Manson there penalising the Manly players for coming in and turning Sean Garlic over after the tackle had been completed. Walker. You've got a good, uh, a good shot of him then and the correctness of his kicking style. Miles taking it infield to the centre on one play. Fell awkwardly. Lowry was taken heavily by Kosef. That's what I like about Nick Kosef. He's not just a man that is adroit with the ball. He doesn't mind taking the big front rowers on one on one. Fittler turning it around for Hermanson to try and make some ground. 25 out now from the manly line. Fittler. Still in play, Manson has called it. Six more, touched by Manley. Good chance here for the Roosters. Now the Manley brick wall is assembled. Larry. Innes is uh, screaming frantically for help on the left. Garlic ran straight at where Innes was calling for assistance. Elskud scurries in. Elskud has a go. Garlic, Fiddler. Oh, beautiful pass! That is the work of a craftsman. Walker ran at the hole, Fiddler put the ball there, and Walker has strolled it. It was a pass, wasn't it? Andrew Walker running a great line there. Came through the set of six given again to the Roosters after a manly touch. A lot of Roosters players in motion, and it was actually Jeff Tuvey who picked the wrong man, 
he and Terry Hill just ended up not taking anybody and the big hole opened up between them. But the quality of the pass set the try up. And Brad Fittler's really taken charge of this Roosters side tonight. He's uh, leading them well. He's been involved in everything so far. What a magnificent pass. Some good decoys from Hermanson and also Scott Goulet. And they were always short out there in defence, Manly. Craig Field doing plenty of yapping. You see Tuvi and uh, Hill were out there calling for players. It was about 15 seconds before that play. They just never arrived. Ivan Cleary from right in front. And uh, he... He converts the try, scored by Andrew Walker. It came at the fifth minute. We'll take a break and be back with the Roosters leading 6 0. Oh, Back at Brookvale Oval with uh, Sydney City taking first points. 6 0. Ah, Manly have got a good chance. It was Hermanson. He's almost out for the count, Hermanson. Now they put pressure on them. It went forward, and the Roosters are off the hook. Where's Hermanson? He was wobbly. Well, Craig Field is very disappointed with the Manly players not taking it ahead. And I, I think there's a lot of pressure tonight on Scott Fulton. A couple of his passes from dummy half already have taken a fair bit of time away from his teammates. That's the big hit on Hermits, and out it comes. And Scott Fulton just having a little bit of trouble finding his first receiver at times, and that's taking away precious yards and time. Juni then. It was Carroll who delivered the hit on Hermanson. Hermanson's gone off, or he's being told to come off, and there he is. Julian Troy has gone on. This is Luke Rickardson. 6-0, a try for Walker, set up by Fittler. Play by Shearer, right in the centre, Walker. Strange play by Nick Kosseff, he tried to block down the kick. And uh, he aimed himself up at the kicker, but he hit somebody else. Hopawati called on to take it away. Manly are 12 metres out from their own line. Fulton it is. Finds no markers. Did well. Provides. Tierney's pass goes to ground, and it will be another scrum that Sydney City will win just yeah. outside the 20. Very strong tackle by Jack Elsquid. On Steve Menzies, they've forced the ball loose. They've pumped up the Roosters. One thing Phil Gould can do, prepare a team for a special occasion. He's brought them here to Brookvale tonight, ready to go. This is Elsgood on play number one. 20-metre line underneath him. Juni. 14 is Troy. 26 is Garlic. And there's a problem. Juni is clutching at his ankle. Very strong work there from Jeff Tooby. Two tackles in a row. I think this is probably the worst scenario for Darren Juni. David Manson has apparently heard a break happen. What a couple of weeks it's been for Darren Juni. Out of the side, captain. And this looks as though it's going to be a, an injury that's going to keep him on the sideline for quite a number of weeks. Neil Halpin is the, the doctor for Eastern Suburbs and one of the leading uh, orthopaedic, I think is the right word. He practices at uh, Bondi and at uh, Parramatta. And Newcastle. And Newcastle. And uh, Neil all. Halpin, there is none better in the business. He works in conjunction closely with Michael Johnson. And uh, quickly on the scene is Neil Halpin. Well, this is an absolute tragedy because everybody is well aware. Um, everybody is aware of the documentation of uh, how Juni was in many minds disgracefully removed from first grade upon the arrival of... Uh, 
the uh, hitherto Super League player, Jack Elskud. Darren came on in that match, got plenty of match time, and then has held his position and has been playing beautifully in the number one jumper. And uh, this is a very sorry ending to a magnificent fight back from the for former Wallaby International. We'll take a break. We'll come back in just a moment. Six nothing in favour of Sydney City. And back at Brookvale, Darren Juney is now carried from the ground. Notice that the manly doctor went across as well, the Australian doctor Nathan Gibbs. He went over to see if he could be of any help. So Sydney City go to the attack again. Fiddler. Again, players in motion. Plenty of them. Gullick. Lowry. Ooh, good tackle. Is that Carroll? Yes, yeah, Spud Carroll. He's made a couple of big hits. The last tackle. Fiddler puts it on the ground. And the race for the ball in goal, Judge, becomes the judge. Yeah, great defence there from Manly. There was three of them diving for that football, but what about Fittler? What a start for him. Nine minutes, he's in everything. Into the match, three eagles there to hold the Roosters at bay. Ran to the line, and a very good kick. Shane Regan on in 15 for Darren Juni. Walker looks around for the forward runner. It is Hermanson. He's made a recovery. It looks like a total recovery. He was on the ropes, down and out. Lowry is 22 out. And Garlic. Fittler. And Goulet. It, it, it almost is a repeat every time. Every time Fittler gets the football, it is players in motion. Which takes the heat away from Fittler, keeps them guessing. Here he is again, Lowry looking like a decoy, but in fact was the ball carrier. Garlic, Fittler, Shearer's after it, there's a touch on it, it's a try! Dale Shearer! Dale Shearer has scored, Fittler is holding his own concert here. Well, Paul Vorton made mention of the fact that Phil Gould can get his players up for a special occasion. It looks as though Brad Fittler is going to come up with a special performance this evening. Beautiful offload here from Jason Lowry. The, the front row is again setting the platform for the Roosters as they invariably do. And then beautiful little work here. He knew that Dale Shearer was coming, got the bounce off the Manly player. I think it was Steve Menzies who got a hand to it. And a very simple take for Dale Shearer. 12 0 early moments. This is great stuff from Lowry. It's invaluable, invaluable when a player can stand and deliver. He's drawn in two or three players there. A little bit more space for the outside people. And Shearer must have called that. He was on the fly as soon as Fittler got the football. What do you reckon, Poppy? There's great value there. <laughs> I thought he was invaluable, actually. <laughs> leave me out, fellas. Turn it up. Ace it. Come on, come on. Just keep picking on me and leave Paul alone. Now, Cleary from right in front. Converts his second try. Sydney City Roosters. They've lost Darren Juney. 12 nil. He just doesn't miss Sterlo, does he? But the great stuff by the Roos is, is an amazing stat here is that Manly have made 52 tackles to the Roosters' 10. Well, Steve Rogers, we come down to you. Uh, the, the news on Darren Juni, what is it? No, not good for Darren Juni, a broken ankle. But uh, let's not forget, too, that Brad Fittler, usually been playing at lock forward for the Sydney City side, he's now moved to 5'8". That gives him a lot more scope with the football. You've uh, always felt that he's better in the number six shirt? He always have. I mean, he's got plenty more time to, to organise, and especially when he's got a, a halfback like Walker on the other side of the ruck. Plenty of options, and it's shown early in this game so far. I think it also helps Andrew Walker that he can just float around and, and not be confined to, to being the first receiver all the time. He's got brilliant acceleration and evasion. Here's the kicking game coming to the fore once again. Just allows him to flow a little bit more in, in his game. So 
Danny Moore gets his first touch of the football. 23 out from his own line. That is an incredible statistic. 57 tackles to 12. Cliffy Lyons has been sent on. That's why the crowd is roaring. Scott Fulton has come off. Cliffy Lyons has gone on. Crossf angles back. So that will see two of obviously go into the hooking role. There he is at dummy half now. I don't know that Crossf's 100%. He's clutching at his left ankle. Tierney makes a bust. 48 metres out from the Sydney City line. The pass is for field. The kick is off the right foot. The bounce will be favourable. Cleary. Miles is circling him. Just inside the 20 metre line. Yeah, Costa not good in the background. He suffered an ankle injury last week against the Crusses. He was in some doubt during the week at training. But he's limping off now. Will be replaced by Andrew Hunter, who's a winger. Regan. So I'd imagine Hopperwadi into the back row. Goulet. Gallic. Walker. Different type of kick. This rolls end on end. This is Hunter. The fact that he played at that football puts everybody on side. He's brought down just inside the 20 metre line. He's on for Nick Crosser. Andrew Hunter, is it? Yes. This is Gartner. Tierney. Three of the former Dragons doing battle tonight. Carroll. Tooby then for Field. Field on for Lyons. Lions floating it long and wide for Danny Moore. I thought Danny was playing on the right wing. He's obviously switched over to the left. He and a good ball by Field. Gartner, it came off uh, Sydney City, rebounded to Gartner. Walker falls on it, play on. Yeah, apparently Hunter's not happy playing left wing as Shearer takes it to ground. And the 200 grade games for Jeff Tooby probably overshadowed the fact that Danny Moore playing his 100th first grade game for the Eagles tonight. Him, Cleary. Rickardson. Terry Hill diving in. Fiddler then drifting across. Selectively picking up Lowry. And Riggan out wide is smothered by Innes on the 20 metre line. Lowry comes back. Walker's there. Ooh. And they really put some pressure on Walker this time, but the kick is good. Batted back and down. Tierney comes away. Menzies is into space. Here's a foot race. And Menzies pulled down by Miles. The ball propelled forward. And the scrum will pack eight metres on the Roosters' side of halfway. Well, nothing going right for Manley. Steve Menzies in the clear. Miles did a great job, but he had two unmarked players on his inside, Steve Menzies. The bounce back from Luke Rickardson straight into the hands of Tierney. Now just have a look at the inside there. He's got Craig Hancock calling for the football. And out of pops when the elbow hits the ground. Two players were there. Should have been a try. Great exciting stuff there. Especially from Miles. He gave Menzies five metres. I know he's a winger, but Menzies can tow it. And uh, there would have been a try on had Menzies passed the football. There was no other Roosters players in cover. Kira, Walker, Fittler, Barnhill. Gave the impression he tried to hurdle the tackler. As Garlick gets away from dummy half. Else good. Another good run there by Sydney City. Simple stuff out from dummy half. Hermanson. Garlic's, uh, Garlic's presence there tonight might have gone unnoticed so far, but they're getting very good direction from Dummy Half. This will be play on, six more tackles, and it's Rickardson. Ten metres out, right in front of the uprights. Garlic for Fiddler. And then Barnhill. Barnhill. Three metres out. 
Gallagher looks round, looking for Lowry, I suspect, or is it Walker? Gallagher goes himself to be one metre out. Walker then, for his captain. Then, Rickardson! It's another try! Rickardson has scored another try as Brett Fittler continues in government over this match. Well, Terry Hill once again was calling for troops to come out and help. They never arrived. This was the ball back to the Roosters. Craig Hancock couldn't take it. Fittler cleaned up. Rickardson took the tackle and then just drifting across again. A lot of dummy runners, decoy runners. Rickardson running into the hole. Terry Hill, he turns around. He is livid because he was calling again for people to come out much earlier. Not well read by Craig Field. He'd have to say he, he let uh, Rickardson get on the outside of him and uh, couldn't put it for pace for Rickardson. He's a former centre. And this man in defence, which uh, Phil Gould, uh, he's been quoted all over the place saying it's the best defence he's ever seen in rugby league. It's fallen apart tonight. It was a good decoy run from Goulet, wasn't it, Craig Field? Yeah, he drew, drew Field in. And yeah. Players like Barnhill, they put the, he's put his hand up. He's having a big game, as is Lowry. And the try score. And I do think Ray's spot on. He makes a difference, Sean Gallagher. Cleary gets his third conversion successfully over the crossbar. This is... <laughs> this is unbelievable. Here's a replay of Brad Fitler with the baton and doing the conducting. Oh. But you've probably got to say, Ray, that, again, when we have a look at the stat of 80 tackles for the Seagulls, 27 oh, right. for the Roosters, you know, if it was the other way around, you'd think that Manly would probably be in front by a couple of tries. Fair comment, but then he can do no more than he's done, Fittler, and the, the beaut part about it, all the soldiers around him are doing exactly what they prepared for. Phil Gould would be beside himself with happiness. And Bobby Fulton, of course, the consolation for him is, as Peter just pointed out, 81-27 to 27 the tackle count. A, a report on Nick Kossef and Scott Fulton. Steve Roach. Well, Nick Kossef has an, e an ankle injury, and he, he brought that into the game. He got it last week against South Queensland. And Scott Fulton has a pinched nerve in the neck. They're just waiting until he, uh, he cools down a bit to see if he'll be back. Impressive, all of this, Steve. Yeah, it's, it's really good at the moment. They're doing pretty simple things, aren't they, the Sydney City side? Working to the middle of the post and then playing on the edges in numbers. Mind you, uh, you are self-confessed as being a follower of the Manly side. <laughs> oh, mate, I, I just enjoy the footy, mate. I know you do. It was just a little G up. Don't worry about it. Poor kick there from Andrew Walker under pressure, but got to give mention of the take by Jason Lowry on the second tackle in that set of six. Down around his boot laces. Held on to it. Could have been a, an occasion where Manly got the football back down around the 30 metre mark. Manly trainer urgently out to organise some team positioning. Lions going into the back of the scrum. Tuvi remaining at 5 8 And here he is now on the halfway line. Innes. Held by Cleary and. Riggan, Menzies, it's an unusual sight really, Manly with the football, Field goes across the back and oh they put it down again, but of course this happens when you haven't seen much football, when you do get it, you're probably keen to do too much too soon. And especially with the defence of the Roosters tonight, they're up there really giving it to Manly, bustling and hustling and uh, forcing the errors, look at Barnhill. Very strong. Three Manly players forcing him down. Lions field and Gardner was the other. Words, I think, between Barnhill and Lions. As the Roosters reach the 40-metre line. Garlic again. Little run from dummy half. 8-1 missed tackles against Manly. But then again, when you've been asked to make as many as they have, I suppose you've got to miss plenty, although they've been pretty ordinary back on their own line walker now they haven't used this piece of equipment so far off the boot of walker anyway they come down with it that'll be a turnover 18 nil friday night if you've <laughs> just walked in and turned her on 
It's 18-0, Sydney City over man. And if you have walked in and see the scoreline, don't think that this game is over. Plenty of rugby league coming from Brookvale Oval. Manly will come back when they get some possession. And they are a team in the competition who can also score quickly. Tierney. Tuvi. And uh, too much. Too much, too long is the, the, the simple re reasoning there from the referee. And that's good consistency from David Manson. We saw a penalty earlier in the game against Manly. I think it was Neil Tierney for trying to roll a, a player on his back. On that occasion, Julian Troy came in. Once the tackle had been completed, he wasn't necessary. And the penalty ensued. It's handy for the Roosters when you can bring off David Barn, who will put on a player of the calibre of Nigel Gaffey, who's a very free-running and strong player. Carroll underneath the tackle there from... Garlic, Lowry was around the legs. He was the chief tackler. Field giving it off for Tierney, who's able to get it away. Field then to the defence line. Lines. That is in a 19 outs. Gartner ridden to the ground by Riggan. 12 out. Still a few tackles. Lyon, Field. Knocked down by Shearer. Six more, great chance, Hopper Wabi way for Hunter, and the Hunter, he gets it in the corner, 18 to 4. Oh, I am the Hunter, oh Rabi at your best, but fortuitous bounce there for the Eagles, Dale Shearer it was, watch him out wide, and the number seven in the centres, he runs up quickly trying to stuff out the attack, all he does, he reaches up, there's plenty of many players there, knocks it down, he's taken himself out of the play, Pop Whitey, good ball. This Hunter, he's the quickest player in the club. And he gets there. It was a pretty good take, too. The catcher was behind him. The pass thrown behind him wasn't an easy one to take on the fly. Field seeing that they had an overlap out wide. There, it eluded Terry Hill. Hop a little bit, bit in behind Andrew Hunter, and he did a great job. Good cover defence coming across from Andrew Walker, but a touch too late if you're looking at the jubilation on that lad's face which we were that's his first first grade try andrew hunter an interesting comment from paul he is the fastest player in the club craig field from the sideline straightening up he got it oh it was a hundred to one in flight 18 to 6 the Roosters over the Eagles. Friday night football, welcome back. Crowd is around 17,000 perhaps at Manly, at Brookvale, watching their side digging themselves out from 18-0. They're back to 18-6. As Tierney prepares to play it just outside his own 20-meter line. Gaffing is on for Barnhill. As Tuvi playing his 200th grade game. Gets it away. Tierney did well. The big man played the ball on the preceding play the ball. And with Scott Fulton off, you can see too he's gone to dummy half and he's very dangerous in that area. Of course, he played in that position in the State of Origin series last year. Won himself the man of the series award. Very elusive round there. And another good sign for Manly, apart from the improved scoreline, is the fact that Nick Kosef looks like he'll be coming back into the action. There's Craig Field on the short yeah. side. Picks up 15 or 20 metres with a pretty deft kick. Is Kosef about to get the uh, the nod to get back out there? The trainer's just making the adjustments, making sure they get the right person to come off. And they're calling from the wing Danny Moore. 
The cross have to go back on, and 14 has gone on Billy Weepu. Yeah, Danny Moore is off. Kosef goes on. Weepu is off. Tierney is off. And Daniel Gartner is at hooker. Weepu is on for Tierney, I should say. Um, what so was what was that? Is there a change? There's about 500 reps. Shut up. You're a very good friend, but why do you keep giving it to him? Miles? You've got a purple heart, Kim Gordon. She's got to. Cleary. Rig on. Gee, I thought he did some good things last weekend against Newcastle. Regan, I was a bit surprised that he wasn't in the, the run-on side here tonight, given all the changes. Hermanson. Walker. They really are trying to put pressure on Walker. That ball has been touched, incidentally, so everybody's onside. And look at Hopawadi. <laughs> Steam rolling his way out. 25 from his own line. Kosek. I think he might have had a needle pull. Kosek. I'd say yes. Menzies. Delicately through. Field joins in. Terry Hill's on his way. Down to the 30. Others with him. Terry doesn't want him. And Hill goes in to score. The chase is on. The Eagles are coming back. The chase is on in earnest and it was game. Cliff Lyons throwing the magic pass to break the defensive line of the Roosters. They go wide. You can see it's a fairly ragged defensive line. Here's Cliff Lyons, shaped to throw the, the long pass. He gives it to Menzies. Good footwork. Beautiful ball from Menzies. And Terry Hill, he, he had a choice of, of support players. Look at them. He didn't need them. Threw the head back. Jack Hill's good coming over from the far wing. And the big dive at the end from Terry Hill. Great manly try. And Terry gets his sixth try of the season. Great stuff from the Eagles. Once again, Cliff Lyons, Andrew Walker didn't go up in the defensive line, left that small hole. And look at this, it's like the charge of the light rate, like the stall gift. In one line, there's about eight of them going for the line. In Hunter is in the background, he's jog trotting there next to Hill. And Tezza gets there. Well done, Tez. Very unlikely the stall gift field would be in one line. They start off a, a handicap. Here is Craig Field again. And this time he's hooked it across the face. But, as Peter said earlier, we've got a lot of football left, and Manly, in the last 10 minutes, have clawed back. Menzi started it with the big step. It was just perfect execution from everybody, wasn't it? Even the, the little pass from Craig Field looked simple, but he threw it at the right time. Showed great pace, Terry Hill. That's six tries at four points out. That takes him to the, the top try scorer, to the head of that. And a good chase from Jack Elscott, of course, who came from the far wing. Andrew Walker then. Starts the next session. We're nearly batting at a run a minute here. There's, what, 28 points and uh, 30 minutes gone. Billy Weeper. Well, Gould would probably be all he, he's hurt. This youngster has taken a, a heavy knock. And uh, David Manson calling time out that he's going to stop the game. A pretty good shot put on Billy Wupu by Julian Troy. The big fellow's not 100%. Certainly not happy with proceedings. There's Troy. Well, in fact, he's taken, uh, he's he's taken the knee of yeah. Hermanson. Well, Fittler didn't endear himself to the manly crowd. He came over com and complained that the referee simply had to change the positioning of the play, the ball to another player. Uh, loose ball, and on the bounce, Hancock, then knocked on by Hopawati. So, the Roosters... We'll have six tackles, 30 metres out. 
Yeah, but again, they lived dangerously there, rushing up on the outside. There was a big overlap. In, in fact, if the, the way would pass, that one had have found the right man. It really could have been danger for the Roosters once again. They've got to sort out some, some a defensive line out wide because it's not happening at the moment. Manly 100 tackles, Sydney City 66. So they're making three to two as they lose the ball. Well. The smoothness has gone from the Sydney City side. Oh, Weepu takes another big hit. And again, it was Julian Troy who then appeals to the referee as Weepu has another fragile jab at him. Field. Kick and chase, looking for the regather. Cleary comfortably back into the fullback spot with the misfortune suffered by Darren Juni. Regan, 40 metre line. Garlic, 18 10, 33 gone. Hermanson. Yeah, it just wasn't the right play there from Craig Field. He gave the Roosters simple possession. They haven't had that for quite a while. One thing that Phil Gould might not be happy with is, is some of the things Dale Shearer, I know he scored a try, but a couple of times he's got out of the line, Steve Roach. Have you noticed that? Yeah, he's just sprinting up out of the line. You've got to go up in numbers, and it just, it's easy for blokes like Menzi to step inside, and that's why Manly have got back into this game and scored those two tries. I think Gould's tactic would uh, this pass real forward here in the right decision. The Roosters' tactics are to get out very quickly out wide, but they'd like to be doing it in the straight line rather than one person sprinting out of that line and putting pressure on the other blokes. Scurry away from the scrum base by Field. Pulled down by Cleary. Halfway line. Gartner. Six minutes remaining. First half. Tuvi down the blind side for Fossil. Barnhill underneath. Garlic over the top. Tuvi. Gartner again. Ooh, Julian Troy. Like a human missile. Now Lions. Menzies. Fittler hanging on. Inside the 40 line. Hancock for Lions. Lions for the kick. High. Cleary's after it. On the fall. Lions starting it and finishing it. Riggan again, Garlic again, Lowry, busy, not flash but busy, although he did pop a pass that provided a try earlier on, Garlic and Goulet, Goulet to the halfway, felt the shoulder there of Craig Field is it, yes, Walker, Menzies goes in with that diving Attempt to block the kick. Hunter. Reminds me of a little bit of, I think his name was Ron Gibbs. When he was playing with Manly, he was the centre of controversy with similar tactics. This is the kick. Looks quite dangerous. That. A little, yeah, a little bit late as well. Tierney, 35 away from his own line. Tuvi pulled down. Fifth tackle gone for Manly now. Field, driving it down in the direction of the touchline. Was he inside the 40? Yes, he was. Cleary. Elsgood. Rowing from the crowd. I think some of them thought he might have knocked on Jack Elsgood. No, I think it's just the fact that he's an ex-man player, Reps. I see. Come back to Brookie. <laughs> Walker. Taken down by a Gartner tackle. Rickardson. Away from Menzies. Held by Tierney. Julian Troy it was, but not Rickardson. 
Fitler. Taken down by Field. Halftime siren not too far away. Probably a couple of minutes left. Hopawadi showing the sideline by Barnhill. And he said thank you. 35 out from their own line. Carroll. Blood coming from the nose of Gartner as he tries to make the break. Lions, Menzies. Half time can't come quickly enough for the Roosters. There's a little bit of a stoush between Dale Shearer and Terry Hill taking place in back play and a penalty going to the Manly team for interference of the leg. Still Hill and Shearer grappling. Judge could make his report. Nobody got hurt. Paul Young Blake on the sideline. 28. Anthony Colella warming up. What's do you know the story? Yeah, he's wearing 28, Pete. <laughs> no background on him. I don't know much about him. He's been here a few years. Not a bad young kid. It's a game, isn't it? This is a great game of rugby league. It's got everything. Plenty, plenty of points, plenty of good hard-hitting defence. There's been plenty of busts made as well. And a bit of feeling out there. And what a big two minutes here for the Roosters. Tierney. Field. Terry Hill, in fact. Kosef. Kosef ran. Straight over the top of one of the Roosters who's still down to the back for Field now. Bouncing away from Garlic. Gets a pass away before Fitler can put him away. Menzies. Fitler comes from behind to make the tackle. It's David Barnhill in trouble for the Roosters. Kosef. Rickerton came out of the line and the Gardner. Daniel Gardner scores the try. Well, what about their 18-16? It's about to be. A lot more possession coming Manly's way. The ragged defensive line again. It's an awful defensive line from the Roosters. Beautiful interplay. Nick Kosef, Daniel Gartner combining as they've done so well in the last season and a half. Nice step. Luke Rickardson. Hermanson fell for the dummy. Fittler falls off. Well, he, he was down and out, Kossif, 15, 20 minutes ago when he left the field with a bad ankle. But he's come back, he's steamrolled a couple out of the way. He's stepped off both feet and set up this try. And David Manson talking to both players. Yeah, I'd be interested to know what he, he wants with the captains out there. So half time he is with us. Got a great comeback by Manly. Everyone knows that they're great fronters, front runners. They love to get the 16 nil and then make it 36. But to come from 18 nil down shows that they can play all sorts of different types of football. So Craig Field adds the extras, and half time is with us, as I said. Two points the difference. Both sides have scored three tries. A half of football that was really divided equally. With the Roosters on fire. Manly coming back. We have got a great game of rugby league on our hands. As Andrew Walker Starts the second half. Hancock immediately handing it off to Mark Carroll. Just inside their own 20 metre line. Papawati able to take it in. Tierney hit by Lowry, his lookalike. 
Lowry comes up with the, the football. So this is a, a very good opportunity for Sydney City to go immediately on the attack. The two players involved in the tackle. He's obviously ruled that when Tierney lost it, he lost it backwards. And then the knock-on came from Sydney City. That's the way I've read it. And Andrew Walker hasn't moved since making the tackle from that scrum winners too. He scoots out of dummy half straight into open spaces. Garlic cleans up the centre of the ruck. Tierney a dummy half. Feel back and across. Good hands there by Gardner. Walker being assisted from the field. Well, that's a body blow and a half to Sydney City. Toby again. Last tackle, 22 out. Field. Lions had to lean out, puts the kick in, Elskid's got it covered. And he's put away 10 metres out from his own line. I think some of these Roosters players have got to stop sprinting up out of the line. They've just got their sights set on their opposite and they're going up and, and leaving gaps all over the place. They've got to watch the play. Steve Roach, half-time, what were you able to find out? Well, Bob Fulton was obviously happy with the, with the man. They come back. He said, let's go to Fittler. Let's, we're standing off him at the moment. We've got to keep going at him in defence. He said, we're a little bit lazy in defence. We've got to keep moving. Too many players caught on the blind side. That's how Sydney City have got their tries. They've had all the football. You know, it will turn around, fellas, for the uh, Sydney City side. Gus had a little, uh, wants a little bit of protection from the referees. He's saying that the Manly players are springing out of line at their kicker walker, but he's off now. He said, look, any number of their players can move the football. We went, we went to sleep a couple of occasions, and then that's how they got back into the game. So we've got to be alert defensively. And he said, look, they won't lie down. They are at the Premiers. We knew that when we started. So Manly bringing it away from their own 20-metre line now. Something else we should point out, Matt Singh is actually on the field. as another mistake. We'll give the Roosters some possession. Matt Singh, we... We're under the impression he wouldn't be used unless it was dire straits for the Roosters. He is carrying an injury, but obviously Phil Gould at half-time has decided that an exciting youngster was needed in the play. Can't understand oh, Les to be losing the football there. He was manhandled quite extensively. So Sydney City offered an opportunity here, and Fittler working with Nigel Gaffey. Gaffey just inside the 30-metre line. Goulet. Tuvi coming in over the top. The real David and Goliath. Shearer running to the line. Barnhill slammed down. Strong tackle by Menzies. Garlic for Goulet. 10-metre line. Still a couple left. Fitlup. There's the pass again! That is just beautiful! Identical play that saw Andrew Walker score the first try of the night. High fives all round. Fiddler has provided the ball in the space and Cleary ran onto it. A bit of deja vu here and again it's the fact that there are plenty of numbers involved. Dale Shearer running a decoy. Three or four of them and then it's just a choice of Fittler to be able to put it on the right chest and he's done that on a couple of occasions now. Going to the football, holding the ball and two arms. It's a perfect lesson to anybody, any young players fancy themselves a ball player. You've got to put the defence back on their heels and that's what happens when you carry the ball in two hands. Yeah, that's what Snorky used to do. That's what Wally Lewis did in his heyday. The great players, they all do it. And Fittler's having the game of his life tonight against this man in the outfit. And when a player does that, it's so hard to defend against. And the decoys created the opening for the try. Well, we've all known that Brad Fittler was uh, something special. But tonight, he is really showing us everything. As Cleary converts his own try. 24 to 16. The Roosters get first blood in the second half. And it came like this again. 
can remember a conversation I had with Bob Fulton, the Manly coach, many years ago. We were talking about the, we were talking about the great Malcolm Reilly, the current Newcastle coach, and nobody admired him more than Bob Fulton as a ball player. And Bob said, with Malcolm, all you did was run at the gap, and he would have the football for you in exactly the position you wanted it. Well, Brad Fittler has done that tonight on about three occasions. Lowry, workhorse, out on the 30. Hermanson. Walker back on the bench. And Steve will find out for us in a moment whether Andrew will be back. This kick, 15 away from their own line, is taken back by the number one. And Fiddler's hurt. So too the Manly chaser. Gartner's hurt. And what happened? Have a look at it here on replay. Yeah, Fiddler's leaving the field. He'll have picked up a knee problem there, right knee. You saw how awkwardly he fell down. It looks as though Daniel Gartner's hanging onto the right shoulder. He's a double whammy. So Manson has called time off as Brad Fittler and Daniel Gartner are taken from the field. Fittler came down with that leg in the perpendicular and it couldn't go any further. Some of these charge down attempts tonight, I made the comment in the first half, they look as though they're they're a trifle dangerous to me. On that occasion, though, Gartner was committed to it. No problem with that one, yeah. Paul, but there were a couple in the first half that we made comment on that reminded me of, um, I think it was Gibbs when he was playing with Manley. He was at the centre of the storm on that occasion. And that's forced Andrew Walker back onto the field as Elfgood boots to his tackle. So a couple of players who are a little bit dusty on the right-hand side for the Roosters. Andrew Walker in the centres and Matt Singh on the wing. Going to be big efforts from those players to get through this match. Goulet picked up and driven into the ground. And the referee comes in quickly, not impressed. Yeah, Steve Menti's the man. And the touch judges, both of them, have come racing in. Well, my first thought was that he was a little bit unfortunate that the player actually twisted. He was just get, looking to get a good driving tackle in. It's Scott Goulet. He drives in. And as he, and he does pick him up... Well, no doubt it'll be on report. It, it doesn't look that flash. I think it's kind of the, he hasn't got his arm between the, the, the player, the, the legs of the player. So he will be placed on report. Steve Menzies. Dale Shearer laying down the law. It is uh, worthy of repeating what Peter just said. He didn't actually have his hands or arms in between the legs and lifting it didn't look good by the same token Singh is picked up and belted down this defense has been strong now they come again but no fitler this time lowry barnhill's on the right walker drifting across oh rickardson was almost through Menzies desperate, garlic lunges, held up. They'll almost certainly get it back from the scrum. Seen Sean Garlic scored plenty of tries in his career, burrowing over from that position. They got under him there, but uh, whilst there's no Fittler, there's Walker, there's Dale Shearer can create opportunities for them out wide just by drifting across the field a la Fittler.
Big smile on the face of Cliffy Lyons. As Manley come up with one against the push. Gaffey. Innes has made the tackle and gone on with it. Penalty goes to Sydney City. Further pressure for Manley. Fittler wants to get back. Right knee has been heavily strapped. Matt Singh. Young State of Origin centre, wrapped up by Tierney. Garlic. Rickerton. Garlic again. Fittler. Hermanson. John Hoppawati making a tackle that he had no part in, really. Gilday. There's the line, two metres away. Oh, Manly hooks up, have held them away. Yeah, I don't know that uh, the man who dropped the ball was expecting it. Very hard pass there from Garlic. There was some space on the outside. Steve Roach, um, what is the report on uh, the injuries to Daniel Gardner and Brad Fittler? Yeah, well, Brad Fittler, as you see, is a uh, right knee injury. Uh, he's went, he couldn't wait there. He was breaking his neck to get back out there. Daniel Gardner has a neck problem, but he will be back. This is Terry Hill now. What about yourself, Steve? You OK? <laughs> I'm loving this, mate. <laughs> Kosef. TV. Hey, gee, I tell you what, there's plenty of spirit in these tackles and Tuvi. Yeah, it'll be David Barn who penalised here. He copped a short right. He doesn't stay down too often, the little boat. He's as tough as Teak. Just have a look at Barnhill in the number 16 jersey. There it is, the swinging arm. He'll probably finish up on report, along with Steve Menzies, David Barnhill. Tuvi still unable to regain the feet. I, don't, I can't remember a game that's had everything. Nothing's been lacking from this at all, and we've still got another 20 odd minutes to go. It would be worthy of a grand final, wouldn't it, this game? Well, I think they're the most predicted sides to make the grand final. <clears throat> Nathan Gibbs now called out to inspect the fallen Manly captain playing his 200th great game tonight. He's been in the spotlight. It would be a tragedy if he's been seriously hurt. We'll take a break and come back to Brookvale with an updated report on Jeff Toovey in just a moment.
Well, Jeff Tuvey now stretch it from the ground as we bring you back to Brookvale. It's been a night of high drama. Now the manly captain in the neck brace under the watchful eye of Nathan Gibbs. He leaves the field in a similar manner to Darren Juni earlier. Checking the score. 24 to 16. Hopawadi. Fear. This is Kalella. Ooh, Julian Troy nearly pulled off a, a blockbuster of a tackle. Seal! Kalella came on in 95 off the bench for a first grade game. That was his only appearance in the top grade. Lion Menzi! 11 away. Hancock. Lions. Off the right foot, straight up and down. There's the bat down, it went sadly wrong. Matt Singh is tackled for Sydney City. Cleary. Quite a few of the Manning players upset with what happened to Jeff Toovey there, but they don't want to lose their heads. They can, they can still win this game. A couple of players uh, are really fired up. This is Riggin. 28 away from his own line. Walker. Hunter. Good chase by Rickardson. What's the report on Jeff Toovey, Steve Roach? Yeah, well, it's a neck problem. Uh, they just be cautionary at the moment. He's got pins and needles in his hands. Field. Kosef. Just beyond their own 40 meter line. Carroll. Halfway line. Then Kosef. Cut out lines. It's with Hobawadi. Then lines. On the run around, and the extra man has been made. Danny Moore, could be Lyons, tries to get a desperate run back. It went forward from Lyons. He's played the advantage, but I can't see how that's an advantage. But it is Sydney City coming off their own line. Well, that was just great football from both teams. Manly manufactured something out of nothing there on the last tackle. And the chase from Rowdy Shearer came up with a try saver on Cliff Lyons. Great attack. Sensational defence at the end of it. See, this is... This is the fourth tackle now. If my memory's right, it might only be the third, but the fourth. And they are just back to where the ball was propelled forward from Cliff Lyons to Danny Moore. Now, how that is giving the advantage to the defending team, I don't know. Now they've turned it over, and a great chance for the Eagles. Field working this scrum just outside that line. That's the 30 meter line. Manly have always been playing catch ups. Craig Hancock wrapped up by Walker. Field through the center. Hancock 28 out. Field again. 24 16. 56 minutes gone. Kosef. Back for Hancock. 20 meter line. Lions rolling it into the end goal, but it's. Oh, yes! I think he's made it in time. Danny Moore. He's got in the nick of time to score the 
try. And did not look as though the ball was going to go over the sideline or dead in goal. Cliff Lyons putting it through. Matt Singh was way up. Ivan Cleary didn't have the speed to get across. And Danny Moore on the fly. Again, perfectly executed. The kick was a beauty. Yeah, they come up quickly. And I do feel Ivan Cleary, I didn't play much fullback, but he was a bit slow to react here. As soon as that ball started going down the blind, oh. he was sort of in the middle of the field. Is there a doubt there, Snort? Well, I don't know. He, he lost the footy. But he seemed to, to gather it in in time. Just have a look at... Well, Rabs is the expert on down with pressure. This is the angle. Rabi, take it away. Well, he loses it, but then... Well, he gets a hand under it. He gets a hand underneath it, but the torso, the, the torso is considered to be part of the, the downward pressure. I'm just more concerned about when he did actually have the ball... In his grasp, here's the kick from the sideline. Oh, yes! It's there! 24 22! Controversial try, but it's on the board. 57 minutes gone. Back at Brookvale with 18,000 people, officially 18-184. Oh, they've lost it inside their own 20-metre line. And they've got it back. What happened there? What's going on? Well, the Roosters got it back and then they passed the ball and lost it. So, play on, I suppose. It's obviously... Been of the impression that they had some advantage. Menzies really lifting now, Manly. No more than Craig Field. Lions. Innes. Sing underneath Fittler over the top. Field away from Hermanson. Sing it is that comes in to cover. Shearer. Gooley. Oh, gee. Yeah. The fury of this game is still there. Hammondson. Go away, man. Let me go. Let go. Got it. Fitness kick. Straight up and down. Barnhill back for Kalella. Menzi. Three metres from the halfway line, 24-22, one hour of the match gone now. Kossef fires it across. Cherry Hill taken by Rigon and Walker and Rickardson. Kossef, Carroll. 12 metres into opposition's area. Field down the blind side for Tierney. Then it's Rigon. Struck four in the play, the ball, and a penalty. You'll find that he's ruled the markup. Was interfering with the man playing the ball. All premature striking, I'm not sure which he's going to enforce here. Well, that's a great kick from Andrew Walker. Taken inside the 20. Dalek now calling for Ellsgood to take it centre field. Ellsgood. That's how close they are. Dalek, Barnhill. Oh, he almost made a meal of it. Fetler. 
on the drift. And this time it goes across that sideline. Well, the Roosters are claiming it came off a manly hand. If that's the case... And they've got the feed, the Roosters. Once again, it's Fittler drifting across the field, looking for runners. Cliffy Lyons gets his hand in the way. And the blood bin for Barnhill. He's not a crowd favourite here, Brookie. Huh? To what happened with Tuvi? Gus is on the sideline. He can't stay away. Now this is as the followers of rugby league realise state coach versus national coach lots of pride not only on the field else good from the blind wing hancock i think and so did hill tend to think that he might have lost it rickardson walker wide and cleary taken down and pushed back Jeff Tooby out of the brace. That's the best news we've had tonight. Troy. Fiddler again. Rigon. Two metres from the line. Two points the difference. Fiddler. Puts the kick in, and Cliffy Lyons comes away with it. Field. Short ball, Menzies. They can't afford another mistake in their own territory, Manly. What a performance from Nick Kosef tonight. He was down and out early in this game. A great ball from Carroll. Danny Moore down the touchline. Nearly to the halfway. Field drifting across. Lions inside for Menzies. Five tackles gone now for the Eagles. Klosev. Terry Hill for Cleary to come away. Elsgood will take a run. Garlic, Lowry. 35 out from his own line. Shearer. The kick. Came off Kosev's head. It's all play on. Innes is with it, oh, a big send, it puts him on his way, he scores, Craig Innes, unbelievable. Well, it's been a long chase for the Seagulls and they finally put their beak in front, a big fend on Matt Singh there from Craig Innes, excellent charge down here, and Innes well and truly onside, picked it up. All the Roosters players coming across, they thought that Matt Singh had him covered, so they were looking to pick up Hopawati on the inside. But the big don't argue from Craig Guinness was very telling. Yeah, the big play from Kossif, though. The ball nearly knocked his head off. And a magnificent fan, Larry dropped off when he saw that Singh had Innes covered, but he didn't have him covered. And he's one of the best centres in the game, Craig Guinness. Phil Gould. His reaction at the time of the try. Well, I think he's saying, tell the fellas, don't worry about it. There's still plenty of time, 15 minutes to go. We can come back. The game that tonight, and it's been said before, it's had a little bit of everything. Craig failed to convert. Manly in front for the first time. They extend the lead. 28-24. Six 
66 minutes gone. Great stuff, this. A little doubt that he's assumed captaincy. <laughs> Craig Field, it might have been self-appointed, but I think he's the captain. And now it all comes down to mistakes. Field position, controlling the football. There's some little things in this next 10 minutes that are going to prove to be very, very big things in the final wash-up. Danny Moore traps the footy, makes it 12 out. It's been a great performance by Manly. The Roosters led 18-0 after 24 minutes. And Manly have outscored them 28-6 to since then. Been like a ramrod tonight. Billy Weepu. Menzies. Away from one. Over the halfway. Picks up the winger. Hunter. He's in free second. Well, shut the gate. Steve Menzies, a quiet start for the season, but it's it's come good tonight. A beautiful ball to his flying winger. No luck for Jill. Jack Ellsgood, he lost his footing. Could have been a, a pretty good race between the two, but Ellsgood put himself out of contention by slipping. Plenty of jubilation in the Manly camp, and rightly so. What a performance. Never seen, I haven't seen scenes like this at Brookvale. Probably for a decade. Well, I, I, I've been here for the last 17 years, 18 years, perhaps. I've never seen anything like this. Probably the mid-80s mid you go back to. Look at Menzies, one-on-one. -on -one. He stood up, Walker, got around him. What about this pass? And Hunter, has he got some toe? Away he goes. Great night for him. Two tries. Oh. Yeah, Craig Field's been inspirational. But just have a look at this manoeuvre from Steve Menzies. Beautiful work. And as you see, when he finds Hunter, Jack Ellsgood was probably close enough, but he was clipped by the players involved in the tackle. It's a straight run, and that just about is the ball game, you would think. Just over 10 to go. The momentum with the Maroon and Whites. Right in front for Craig Field. Five from six. They're dancing on the benches and they're dancing on the beaches at Manly at the moment. This has been incredible stuff. Menzies with the bus, but look at the pass. And then this youngster, Hunter, smiling. The eyes are laughing. And in he goes for number two. I was talking to Fatty before the game and we were talking about Steve Menzies and he said he was he was back to close to his best last week against the Crushers and he's really carried it on. A wry nice smile there from Jeff Tuvey. He'd love to be out there. And what about we had a look at the, the defense coming into this game. They were the two best performed in that area. 46 against the Sydney City team, 48 man, the Manly team. Can you believe that we've had 64, nearly 60 scored in the one game? 34 24. It's not over yet. There's another mistake by the Eagles, so the Roosters a chance to claw their way back into it. Menzies, eh? That was the Menzies move. We saw before Kossoff trying to unload a miracle pass. Teeny back on for Weepu. I still think the two 13s have been the best out there. Fittler gesturing as though he's coming back on just got to get one off so the ship is still without a captain the scene comes off the right wing to center it 25 out this is Julian Troy Garlic a dummy half. Shearer. That's a that's a shepherd. 
It's a penalty to Manley. Just let me check the uh, the defense. Were they obstructed? And there's no doubt they were. Absolutely no doubt. Yeah, he just tried one dummy too many there, Dale Shearer. Manly then. Slowly pulling down the shutters on one of their really memorable performances. 5-4, they've enjoyed the penalties by a whisker. t and &E second grade tonight went to the Roosters by a close score. And under 20s also to the Roosters, 28-10. To Tomorrow, we will show you as Daniel Gartner nurses the head. Tomorrow at 4 o'clock, we will show you South Sydney and St George. That's at 4 o'clock. And tomorrow night at 10 o'clock, Gold Coast will play North Sydney, and we will show you that at 10 o'clock. So it's a big day of rugby league tomorrow, and of course racing, Sydney Cup Day. And also AJC Oaks Day. If memory serves me correctly. Not being a punter, I don't, I don't remember. Shearer then. Rolling it in, and again off the boot of Singh, and they've come back with it, six more tackles. Walk up, Cleary. Fiddler. Rickardson is 11, and he's three metres from the line. Riggan, Fiddler. Goulet, got to pass away! Julian Troy it is who I don't think got it down. In fact, the indication is that he lost it. Well, they haven't given up yet, have they? The Roosters come back strongly, and he lost the ball over the line. Yeah, thus they come back to the 20-metre line. Manly get possession had he been held up in goal it would have been the scrum been a great effort tonight from brad fiddler he shouldn't be out there he should have just been resting on the sideline with that knee injury he's got he's out there under sufferance but he's a very brave young kid tinny hit and spin craig field 30 metres out. There are a lot of blokes out there who probably fall into that category as well. I pointed out that Steve Menzies weaves again in the centre of the ruck. Matt Singh, they didn't want to use him tonight. Nick Kosef, he's picked himself up. David Barnhill has got a pretty nasty head cut. There are plenty of hands on deck tonight for both teams. Lions punching it down the ground. Cleary taken down by Kalella and uh, the kicker. Elsgood against his old club tonight. And uh, they've let him know it. Young Hunter over there on the right wing opposing Jack Elsgood, who's had his own personal dreams answered in many ways tonight. A lot of stories that uh, can be told about this game. Barnhill slammed down. Menzies and Tierney. Shearer. Big kick. Well inside the 40. Hancock. Gaffey the tackler. More. Nobody's worked harder than that tackler in the eastern suburbs side, Jason Lowry. Now all four props tonight have been uh, simply outstanding. Hermanson, Carroll, the men who just got tackled. Lowry and also Tierney. Oh, 
Menzies. Seven or eight meters on the manly side of halfway. $1,000 man of the match award tonight. Made possible by Nokia. Not only do they give a $1,000 reward, they throw in one of their $800 mobile phones with the, uh, the relevant equipment, about $800 worth. It's the 8110 top of the range, I'm told, by an expert on mobiles, Steve Roach. Outside the 20 meter line, one of the last scrums of the game, in fact, probably the last. Sees Ivan Cleary wrapped up on the Sunday footy show. The boys will have Nick Kosseff and Brendan O'Meara, Owen Cunningham, Adrian Brunker, Bradley Clyde. As this ball finds the line, and they'll get the ball back because that was kicked from well inside the 40. So another chance to score a try. A great kick from Andrew Walker, kicking early in the tackle count. Now, I was just uh, interested to see that because I was reading that information about the footy show and uh, there wasn't a great deal of urgency shown by Manly. I mean, they don't really have to be too urgent, I understand that, but... A lot of these rules players are still growing accustomed to. Hunter is put down, just out from his own line. Six tries scored in the first half. And four more tries in the second half. 34-24. I don't think anybody expected a high-scoring match like that. Not tonight, anyway. Another bust has been made, and Craig Field is trying to foot it there with Andrew Walker. Walker comes back with the ball now. Back to the halfway line. For Cleary. And Barnhill. And away from Fittler. And a cross for Matt Singh. I don't know that he needed to be given that ball. Barnhill on the end of the shoulder. Goulet juggles. Turns it inside for Shearer. Snatched out of the air by Hancock. And Manley come back with it. Well, he had an unmarked Luke Rickardson next to him. No need to kick the football there. Rickardson on the inside. Great take from Hancock. Siren in the background. It is all over. One of the most entertaining games of rugby league has been won by Manly. They trailed 18 points to nil. 24 minutes into the game. And they've come home to win 34-24.